This is Pat Solver with the Dr. Ways In, and we're filming at the Health Tech Conference in Santa Clara. And I have with me one of the uh, keynote panelists, Glenn Tolman, who's a serial entrepreneur. Um, his uh, first company was Allscript, right? Mm-hmm. A little company nobody's ever heard of. And his second company is Livongo. And I'm very interested in learning more about Livongo. So, Glenn, tell us what you're up to. Sure. Well, Livongo is all about empowering people with chronic diseases to live better, and we're beginning with diabetes. So what we're really doing is reinventing the way people with chronic diseases like diabetes experience their disease, and we're giving them tools to help them better manage how they have that disease, how they take care of themselves. So it starts with a very simple glucometer, which most people use, except this one has an embedded cellular chip. And when you check your blood sugar, not only is it more accurate, but it transmits that up to the cloud. And in the cloud, we do analytics, and we send back real personalized messages. For example, if you have type 2 diabetes and um, your blood sugar was 300, we might send you back a message that says, drink two glasses of water, take a walk for 10 minutes, and check again in 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop you there because... um that's cool. You send me a message, a text message, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, but you showed a clip today of, of your son who has type 1 diabetes. I hope that's okay to say. You shared Absolutely. it with the world today. Absolutely. And um, and he described something called a Livongo moment, which wasn't a text message. It was much more personal than that. Uh, tell us what how that works. Well, first of all, I just say you mentioned my son. And what's wonderful is diabetes, while it's the fastest growing chronic disease in the world, it's also the most manageable. So if we actually give people the right tools and help them at the right time and empower them, then actually they can live long and productive lives just like everyone else. And so in the case of my son, what happened was he woke up in the middle of the night at 4 a.m. He checked his blood sugar. is very low. And uh, he didn't know what to do because when your blood sugar his was 37, you can't actually stand up and walk around. And so he didn't know what to do. He was afraid he'd pass out, right? Absolutely. He would have had a diabetic seizure. And so what happened was the phone rang. And on the other end was one of our certified diabetes educators. And they helped him through that moment. And there's there's a great person in the diabetes space. His name is Manny Hernandez. And Manny always says, you know, you're not alone. And there's this feeling of if you have a chronic disease, you know, you don't want to be alone because you want to be empowered, you want to be in control, but chronic diseases take away some of that control. So using technology paired with smart analytics and paired with actual people, at the right moment, we're giving people back that empowerment, that control. So this is really interesting because, uh, you know, engagement has been the buzzword. You talked mm-hmm. about that. And yet, um, a lot of times I look at patient engagement and the tools, I, I mean, they're, they're not even interesting for yeah. me to look at. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm glad to hear you talk about empowerment instead of engagement uh, because they're really two different things. Um, so what I was hoping that we could talk about are two things now. One is, how you how you view this empowerment issue. But the second one is, since you mentioned Manny, I know you've brought him on as a patient experience executive. Mm-hmm. And I think that's so critical because I see so many young companies that are designing things for people with chronic illness. The CEO is 23, completely healthy. The CTO is, you know, 24. Yes. And, uh, and none of them really understand what it's like to live with a chronic illness. So the engagement of patients is important. So if you could talk a little bit about empowerment versus engagement and a little bit about how you're actually using uh, Manny a little bit about his background sure. and uh, how that's really going to differentiate you, I think, from yeah. other companies that are playing in this space. Well, first of all, you know, I think if you're going to change the world, you have to change the words. And so we don't talk about diabetics. We talk about people with diabetes. It's a very different approach. You don't talk about um, cancers or Crohn's. You talk about... Well, actually, I, I was an emergency physician. I have to tell you that we did say things like the Crohn's over there in bed six. I, I'm embarrassed to say it, but we did do it. We want to change that. <laughs> Good. So we want to focus on people and how we get people to live healthier lives. Second thing is we are talking about members, not patients, because a patient, you think of a patient as someone who goes into the hospital and they get admitted. But these are people who are living with this seven days a week, 
you know, 365 days a year, and they have to learn to manage. This is their life, and we want to make that life healthier and better. So that's what it's focused on. So Manny, who is our member engagement, you know, what he's really talking about is how do we empower these people with better tools, put them in charge, let them make the decisions, and that way you only involve a medical professional or someone else when they need it. And we know that. So think about creating that perfect moment when something goes wrong and you say, I wish I could talk to a doctor right now. And imagine that your phone rang right that moment and it was a doctor. And what would you say? Perfect timing. Well, we create perfect timing. Think of it as OnStar for people, not cars. When you're in trouble, we're there for you, but we're not bothering you when you're not. We're letting you live your life. And that's really what it's about. It's about using technology, empowering members, people with diabetes, and doing it in a way that makes them better, smarter, and healthier. Yeah, well, I think that's uh, fantastic. Um, I, I think we'll close with, I, I love what you're doing. Um, I love the idea that you've got a real patient, hopefully more than one real patient. If I know Manny, you probably do, helping you to think through issues of usability and, and so forth. Um, but as I listen to this, I say to, to myself, well, so how are you making money? Are you charging for this? Or who are you selling to? Are the, is, it, is this a, a consumer play or is this a health plan play? How are you, what's your business model? So the answer is yes. And I'll say a few things. <laughs> One, um, so our business model is we're working with large self-insured employers, um, industry leaders like Lowe's and Office Depot and all a number of others. We're working with large health systems. Today we announced Mount Sinai in New York, a leader that has literally serving millions of people throughout New York of all sizes and shapes and colors, all of who happen to have diabetes, and we can help them. And last but not least, we're working with the country's largest payers. So in all those cases, what we've done is, because people who have diabetes are typically paying too much money for strips, We've made strips free. We've said pay one fee a month, and we'll give you the meter, the monitoring, unlimited strips, and we'll keep you healthy. And it's a very different model. Well, I can tell you the health plans would love you th for that because paying for the strips is, uh, yeah. is you know, it's really a huge expense well, for a health everybody plan. Everybody loves it because if you want to keep somebody healthy, the last thing you want to say is there's a penalty every time you check your blood sugar. We want them to check. We, well, we used to have people to cut their strips in, into quarters. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so we've redesigned that process. We've made it easier. If you're using Livongo, you never have to order strips again because we know when you need them because we're monitoring that. And you never have to write down your data uh, because we have it and we can send it anywhere you ask us to. And by the way, if you want your son or your daughter who's helping you manage your type 2 diabetes, or your mother or your father who might be helping you manage type 1, if you want them to receive your information, it's the touch of a button, and now they receive your information when you're particularly high blood sugar or low blood sugar. So, again, we tried to re-engineer this and make it very consumer member-focused, and I think that's why people are staying healthier with Livongo. Well, I want to congratulate you on what sounds like a second successful company and we look forward to uh, watching how Livongo evolves. Thanks Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you.